So there's a really good opportunity to take advantage of something as we're coming towards the end of your holidays. And so in this video, I'm going to show you a method where you do not need to pay for hosting. You do not need a landing page. You do not need a website. You do not need anything. You can simply use the free tools that I'm going to be showing you in this video to take advantage of this very, very important opportunity as we're coming towards the end of the year. Okay, so pay close atten attention to this method because these are tools, these are free tools, and you have to make sure you know how to use them correctly, all right? So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna Google for a term, okay? Uh, so for instance, I type best tech gifts 2020. This is a niche that I'm looking into. You can type best gifts for best gifts for women if you want in 2020 or best best holiday gifts best holiday gifts 2020 you can have anything that you want it's really up to you now once you type the query that you want you're going to be on the on one of these results okay and so they're all going to be very similar they're all going to be almost the same results and we have uh 43 best gifts of 2020 we have 60 best tech gifts of 2020, 33 best tech gifts uh, for men of 2020. They're all pretty much the same thing. I mean, the actual gifts are going to be different, but for the most part, uh, you're going to be looking at something very similar. So what you need to do is you need to pick one of these links because we're going to be using the data that's on one of these links. And it's very important that you pick a link that has a relatively well-known website. Okay, so for instance, Today.com is pretty pretty well known. Best products.com I've never heard about before. GQ is pretty well known as well. We have New York Times, which is kind of the elephant in the room, very well known. And then you have a bunch of other websites. So for this uh, tutorial, I picked New York Times. I have it open right here. And what we have is Wirecutter, right? Everybody knows Wirecutter, at least people who look for reviews because this is a very, very popular site. And actually, New York Times bought the wire cutter uh, some years ago, okay? And so they have uh, the 18 best holiday tech gifts for under $200, okay? And so they have a list, and this is a really nice list. It's not a very complicated list. They have an image, they have the name of the product, and they have some description, okay? So we're going to be using this data as well to create our own affiliate marketing website all on autopilot okay we're not going to be creating an actual website like they did here we're going to be doing it using a bunch of free tools that anybody can use that are available worldwide so the first thing that you need to do step one okay or maybe step two depending on how you look at it is you need to go to Airtable. okay you need to create an account on Airtable. okay if you do not have an account create an account. If you have an account like I do, then you've accomplished this step, okay? The next step that you wanna do is you wanna go to a website called Pori.io. This is an awesome, awesome website. I've never mentioned this website on this channel so far. I'm keeping the best for last, so to speak, but this is a great website. They have a generous free plan, and as you can see, I'm on the free plan right now, so you're gonna be fine without paying for now. So you can go on pori.io, you're going to create an account and you're going to be on the screen that looks something like this. Okay. Next, what you want to do is you want to click on create a site. Once you do that, you're going to be at a template gallery. Okay. So they have a bunch of templates that you can pick depending on what you're doing. So they have a jobs template, uh, some things, discover your next favorite thing. They have a kind of a store and uh, an online store template, they have a restaurant template, conference te te a template, and a some, some other kind of a table type template. And so depending on what we're doing, we're going to pick a template. So for this specific tutorial, I'm going to be picking this template here, and I'm going to click on next, okay? We're going to call our site, we're going to call it best tech gift ideas for 2020, okay? You can call it what you want, or you can just use the method that I'm describing here. You can do that or you can, you know, create your own little spin in it. It's really up to you. Then you're going to click on create site. Okay, we're going to wait a second. It's going to go out. It's going to create our sample site. And now what you're looking at is a site designer that's very, very easy to create a site. It's all automatic. You do not need HTML. You do not need CSS. You can just go out and create a site. And now... A couple of things about this website. This is the, the actual site. 
And then they also have an email opt-in that you can actually collect emails as an extra bonus, okay? And that's awesome because emails, you know, you can resell to that to those emails over and over again. But I don't want to really talk about emails too much. You can click on edit. You can remove this if you'd like. What I'm going to be focusing on as is on this, okay? So I can click on view site and I can create a domain and I can view the site. So let's, let me create my domain. This is tech gifts. I'm going to create a domain and I can click on view site and we can actually view this live site. This is what the site looks like. Of course, we are not going to be selling brushes and th these kinds of creative assets. We're going to be selling something else. So we're going to go back and we are gonna do this the right way. So here we are at the designer screen. And what we wanna do is, you see where it says Airtable base not configured. You wanna click on set up my base. And once you do that, you're gonna have two options, okay? The first option is I have my own base. I don't have my own base. You're gonna go for the second option. You're gonna click on copy template base. You're gonna click on this copy template. And what's that going to do is going to go into your Airtable account. That is why I said you need an Airtable account to begin with. And it's going to add some data into your Airtable account. So it says, which workspace would you like to add this new base to? And I only have one workspace and probably you're also going to have one workspace. So you're going to click on add base and it's going to go out and it's going to actually add the base. So we have the base here. We can click on it. And you want to familiarize yourself with this base real quick. And so what do we have? We have this template. It has three tabs, three sheets, or whatever whatever Airtable calls it. I just call it sheets or three tables. And we have site content, we have filters, and we have form. This is where that form opt-in, this is where you're going to be getting your uh, email submits. Okay, so we're not going to be looking at it. We have filters. This is another really cool feature is that you can filter it, that they have these built-in filters here. But the most important thing is the site content. Okay, we have title, subtitle, URL, short description, description, avatar, gallery, YouTube URL, price, call to action, and a filter, okay? And so if you go to the website, we have this website loaded, you're gonna see that, for instance, we have Procreate Realistic Paper Texture Tutorial. And if we go back here, you're gonna see this is the first row here. Actually, no, it's not the first. This is actually, yeah, it's kind of in random order. This is this one right here, Procreate Realistic Paper Texture Tutorial. We have a subtitle, and what is that subtitle? It's this one right here. We have a subtitle URL, if you want. We have a short description. We have a description. We have an avatar, and what is the avatar? This is the avatar here. And then we have the gallery, okay? So then we have the YouTube URL and a bunch of other things. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, what you really need is title, subtitle. We don't really need the subtitle URL. We don't really need the description. You can use the uh, both of these fields. They're not required. And avatar is also not really required as well. You can You can make use of it if you want. We do need the gallery because gallery is important. The gallery is here. So if we click on it, you see how it pulls up. It has this gallery. I can click on these things and I see images. I see images and there is some text. And then we have a call to action. So not only do we have a, a page, a main page, we also have individual pages that it created. This is why this product is so powerful. Take a look at this. It's not just one page, okay? It's individual pages and that provides a lot more value to the individual visitor because they can click on something they can learn about it. Look, there's a gallery here. They can they can scroll it uh, like this. They can go through it uh, using the, the thumbnails here, or they can just click on this. And then we have a call to action download. And then there's a description as well. So there's a lot of data. And what you want to do is uh, you want to use this template for what we're going to be doing. We're going to be promoting other products. And so obviously you can modify this data by yourself and you can create your own website. So you can modify this data. You can go back to their, uh, you can go back to uh, the main site. You can go back and edit the main site. So if I go back to the designer, so here I am on the main designer and all of this is editable. You can edit it. You have the header, you can change all that. You have the theme, you have, you can even take payments if you want. There's so many things that you can do. And so you can click on that, you can edit, you can edit all of this. 
And so, for instance, let's say we want to call it top 18 gifts for 2020, something like this. Uh, here, check out, check out these amazing gifts for 2020. Which one is your, which one is your favorite? Something like this. And we can click on update content and it's going to update it. Very, very awesome, right? And we have a search bar. We can, we have other page settings. We have SEO settings, lots of, lots of things that we can do. We have filters. Remember pricing. These are the filters that you can configure here. You can go in here into this filter tab and you can configure new filters, free, paid, under 10, and we can do all of that. We can use these filters to create a much better experience. Now, what you want to do is, obviously, you can go back. So once you've modified the title, like what I just did, you can modify the background image as well. You can click on edit and you can change the background here. You can, you can get it for free from Unsplash. Uh, you, can have, you can have the list URL. You can modify all that, okay? Once you've done that, your next course of action is to change the actual date. And so let me show you how you can do it. So once you're back in this New York Times page, what you want to do is once you install the Scraper plugin, just Google for the free Chrome extension called Scraper, you're going to highlight the link. You see how it has links to this, the name of the product and the link. You're going to right click on this link and you're going to go into scrape similar. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to have two columns. The first column is not the link column. This is actually the name of the product. And then we have the URL, the URL that it's going to redirect to. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to copy to clipboard. You want to do that. You want to go back into your Airtable spreadsheet, this template. And you want to click on this. You want to add plus and you want to do a, uh, we're going to do single line text. We're going to create a field and you want to paste it. You want to press command V on the Mac or control V on the PC. You're going to paste it. It's going to say expand the table. We're going to click continue. And now we have the data here. This is not all the data. We're not done yet. So keep watching. But we have the label. Now, what you have to understand is that we do not need this link and URL. So I want, I'm going to choose all this and I'm going to drag it higher. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these two fields and I'm going to copy. I'm going to cut it, control X, and I'm going to paste it above. Okay. So it's going to paste it. And now we deleted those two fields that we did not need. Now, this data is temporary because our job is we need to get it. To this data okay so what, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna go to this title and i'm gonna go to the to the first field and i'm gonna press command v or control v i'm gonna click paste and that's gonna paste our new newly created data here right this is the data that we just imported then you're gonna go to the urls you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna select the first field i scroll down i chose it command c or control c and we are going to go to the call of action, call to action. So I'm going to go to the first one and I'm going to press command V. I'm going to paste it. And now we have to call to action. So now if I go to our website, you're going to see it's going to look a little bit different. So if I click on view site, and so as you can see, it's now showing some of our own records. Okay. So we have this Microsoft Sculpt ergonomic keyboard. We have sleep phones, effortless. We have all these things and we can view this site. Take a look. I can click on view the site and we're going to see. So if I click on it, it's going to say, it's going to say download it, but this is actually a link. So we have to check that, change that link, but this is actually a link to the store. Now you have to go out and you have to modify it with your own link. So if I go back to this air table here, this URL, this uh, call to action URL here, it's, it's the old link that we gotten from the website you need to modify it with your own link. And so when you finish posting the data here, you can go back to the site and you can start customizing it. You can customize pretty much everything here. I mean, take a look how easy it is. You can click on this field mapping and layout settings. See, I can click on that and I can customize the card view or the detail view. So the card view is the general view is the front page and the detail view is this view here. So there's all these things that I can customize. So let's take a look at the card view. The card view is fine. We can uh, take away the subtitle. We can, we might not want to show it, or maybe we do want to show it. 
we can remove the short description we might want to remove the avatar we're gonna leave the gallery subtitle and then we're gonna go into the detail view and there's so many things that you can do so for instance you can uh there's the youtube url we don't really need that there is a call to action url do we want to show it we do want to show it and do what do we want to call it we are gonna call it buy it buy it now instead of download and the call, call to action url is gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be call to action url the one we already set up so as you can see it says buy it now we're gonna click on say so there's so many things that you can configure and so if i click on here it says buy it now this is exactly what we want now the most important thing i know many of you are going to be asking about this is how do we get the images okay now i'm going to show you a couple of tricks first of all you can go back to our original page you can right click on this image okay and you can say scrape similar and once you do that you're going to have a list of these images that you can copy and do what you want with them so i'm going to click on copy to clipboard here and then i'm going to go back to our Airtable spreadsheet here that i have and we are going to paste these images right next to the gallery so i'm going to click on insert left this is going to be a url field okay this is going to be a url field we're going to create new and i'm going to go to the first field control v and now we have the images pasted here it actually pasted it in the youtube url which is absolutely fine i'm, I'm just going to delete this one since we don't really need youtube url that's fine i'm just going to call it image url okay i'm gonna say image url here and now we have the urls of these images i'm gonna remove this first one i'm gonna select all of these and go up and paste them here i'm gonna click paste and now we have the images that are lined up with the titles okay that is perfectly lined up now what you need to do is this is not going to be good enough you can't just have image urls you need to have them look like a gallery so there's a couple of things that you can do one option is you can drag this over okay you can drag it over and you can drag an image to our Airtable sheet so let me show you how this works so i can click on this so let's say this is the first image here i can drag it here so i can drop and drag it and drag and drop it over there and now i'm gonna have a new image it's gonna upload it and then we're gonna see this new image here and then you can remove the old image as well so for instance this is what i see now if i click if i expand this field i have two images here i can just remove the old one or i can create a brand new field to do that okay so for instance i'm gonna go to the second image i'm gonna drag it to the second field here and it's gonna upload i'm gonna expand the field it's gonna upload it and then i can remove the old ones so that this current one it shows up so we have all of this i'm gonna remove this one remove this one remove this one remove this one and remove this one now we just have what we needed and this is that power core fusion 5000 we have the link for it etc etc now there's even a better way to do it okay if you google for this tool this is called convert image link to attachment in Airtable. it's free this product is free but you can pay what you want to support me this person this this guy right here he wrote a script that enables you to take any urls in your Airtable. for instance we can take this image url and convert it into a gallery url absolutely free okay so i'm gonna have the link to this tool in the description if you are interested or you can just use the manual method to do it and once you finish doing everything you're gonna have stuff that looks like this so for instance we did this one we can click on view more we're gonna see more of this this one is done so for instance this anchor power core fusion 5000 you can rename you can remove the avatar you can remove the name actually you can have a company name so for instance instead of anchor core let's go back so we have this anchor core the second we, we're just going to call it anchor that's the name of the business we're not using the subtitle url you're going to configure that you can have a description here maybe this is a short description something like this and we can go back to the site and see how it looks so you see you see how it says anchor and then we can refresh it and you're going to have the short description here let's click on view more and you're going to have it here so if we click on this you're gonna have your short description so let's go back here i'm gonna do a refresh of data here so click here to refresh and it's gonna refresh it right here so let's view more let's see if it's showing up properly 
we have Anchor Power Core Fusion 5000. Let's take a look. Anchor Fusion Core 5000. We're gonna we're gonna go back here. We're gonna take a look at how it's set up. We're gonna click on this. We're gonna click on Edit Our Fields to make sure we've mapped it correctly. Short description is being used, but it's not being used. Ah, we need the field. Short description is. Let's take a look at what field are we using. Short description. So we're gonna map it to short description, and then we're gonna click on Save. Okay, and that should use it correctly. So as you can see, we're going to scroll down. We have short description here. And if we load this website, it's going to have short description as well. So if we scroll down, we have short description. You can just re uh, replace the avatar with something else. As you can see, the avatar is one of the fields here. You can just upload an image. But the most important thing is that you have a website that has a general view and a detail view. So if we click on this, it says buy it now and you can replace this with the long description, all of this, and then buy it now is gonna be a link to the call to action button. It's gonna be your Amazon link or some other link or really depends what you're trying to do. And remember guys, once you've chosen this template, you can promote any kind of product that you want. All you have to do is change this data around, maybe use another template or use the same template, just change this data around. It's super powerful. Because right now you have a legit website. You have an actual, a real looking website that you can send Facebook traffic. You could send Google traffic. You could go to forums. You can pretty much go anywhere and promote this website how you see fit. So it's really up to you how far or where you want to take it. It's really up to you. There's so many ways of doing it. And so I just wanted to show you how you can promote a trending niche, a hot niche, which is holiday gifts okay with the time of the year a lot of people are looking for holiday gifts so you have a really cool opportunity to promote holiday gifts all right guys so i really hope you enjoyed this method it's super super easy you can build this out and start promoting in like 20 minutes tops and if you have any questions or comments leave them below i would love to help you out i try to help as many people as i can if you enjoy this method you want to see more methods such as this one smash the like button on this video it really really helps out and if you are not yet a subscriber make sure you subscribe and not only subscribe but definitely hit the notification bell as well and that way you're going to be notified of new videos whenever they're released all right guys so i really thank you for watching this video i really hope you've gotten value here and i will see you in the next video